Welcome, welcome, welcome to the call to joy. My knowing your natural state is feeling good, that you're called to the joy. When you're feeling bad, something feels wrong. It feels off. And when you're in a mental state of well-being, appreciation, enjoying life, it feels right. It's like coming home to who you are because that is who you are. You're a joyful being. I'm going to focus in on our side breath today, a very gentle breath, supernatural. It's something that we all have done. And you just take in, it could be in through the nose or the mouth, this beautiful, deep, exaggerated sigh. And we want the exhale, which naturally happens to be longer than the inhale. So let's do that beautiful, deep sigh, that exaggerated sigh. And then on the exhale, just let it go. Just let everything go. This is your time to let go to feel good, to relax, to feel at peace. That science has proven that as we exhale longer, it gives the message to the heart to slow down, to relax, for the stomach to settle, for the brain to go still quiet. And then we're going to turn the side breath into an even more expansive beautiful tool by you just do it you just do the side breaths as i guide you into a hypnosis meditation you just focus in not on my words but on the breathing it's effortless it's easy and the suggestions like a dry sponge placed in water they just soak into your cells into your being so simple so easy and I'm gonna remind you of higher truths, like you are worthy, you are deserving, you are lovable, that it is normal to be human, to have made mistakes, to still be learning. I'm just gonna remind you of these beautiful truths. This isn't a time to analyze, to me to fix anything, to solve any problems. It's just your time to relax, to let go. Keep doing those beautiful sighs, beautiful, deep, exaggerated breaths, bringing it up from the belly. Let your, maybe your mouth open wide on the exhale. You can make noise, you can wiggle the body, you can just go still. So we're giving the message to your body all is well, a settled stomach, a a still mind, a peaceful mind, an open heart, a light heart, a heart that slows down, relaxes, all is well. If you're laying down, feel the comfortableness of the place that you're at. Feel it supporting your body. It's like meeting all the parts of your body with this comfort, with this softness, with this love. And how this becomes a self-hypnosis tool is just you focus on the breathing and you let the sound of my voice still the body, relax the body, just soak into your being, effortless, easy. So like a dog that starts to salivate when you bring out the dog food, you're going to start to associate positive feelings with this side breath. You can use it anywhere, anytime, any place, just about. When you're eating, probably not, but in between bites you can. And keep taking those beautiful breaths. It is a breath to bring in more spaciousness in between the cells. That who you are is beloved. You came in pre-loved, pre-liked, pre-approved of that it is normal to have a messy life. So it's normal to have issues, concerns. It's normal to have problems crop up. It's normal, welcome to the human race. But when we know there's solutions, there's answers, that it is an abundant and loving universe, God, source, 
that says yes to you, you count. Your happiness counts. Your well-being counts. That you are loved. You came in pre-loved, pre-supported, pre-liked, pre-approved of. That it is normal that you've been human, that you're needy. You came in needy. You needed oxygen. You needed food. You needed liquids like water. You needed guidance, support, help that when we're babies, we need support and help and feel that sense that there's no shame. There's no shame in being human. It's beautiful that who you are is a beautiful soul. Keep doing those exaggerated sighs. Just focus on the sighs, letting go, letting go, letting the neck go loose and relaxed, super lazy, super comfortable, letting the shoulders drop, release the spacious, light, joyful energy flooding the head, the brain, the heart, the organs, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, the gallbladder, the thyroid, the stomach, the, the bladder, the toes, the fingers, the outer layers of the skin. Beautiful is an energy. It's not looking like a model. That, that's not a requirement to thrive, to enjoy life, that you don't need to be the smartest person in the world. You didn't come to prove yourself. The joy is in the journey, the evolution, the becoming. That's built in within you inherently. You want life to go well for you inherently. You want things to work out. You want to be happy. That's built in. And when we let go of our attachment to the fears, the worries, the concerns, whether it's a fear about your health, someone else's health, whether it's a fear about how this problem is going to be solved, how are you going to get that fixed, how the money is going to come. This is not our time to analyze. It's our time to plug in to tap into that infinite intelligence, to the resources of the universe, to the divine energy, to that soft energy, to that God energy, to that love energy, and it feels good. So letting go, letting go like a hot air balloon that releases its attachment by letting go of its heavy weights to planet Earth. It naturally floats up when you release the weights that the helium just floats up well, when you're in the energy of love you float up and what does that feel like it feels like a relaxed jaw it feels like a loose and relaxed and comfortable neck it's this beautiful feeling of shoulders settled relaxed drop this tender gentle feeling in your heart where it just kind of radiates you get to feel good. You get to go to appreciation. You get to feel blessed. You get to focus where you want to focus, which is you want to feel good. You want to go to that beautiful allowing state where you're given clarity, wisdom, insight, knowledge, where the body can heal, restore, regenerate. That when we're in those fears and worries and anxieties, that it doesn't have the energy to focus on the solutions, the answers. It doesn't have the energy to focus on healing that it's not able to hear that wonderful calling from source, God, divine energy. Keep focusing on that beautiful side breath. Imagine on the inhale, you welcome, you open your whole being up to just allowing the spaciousness the lightness the softness it's like you open the door you say yes i don't want to go it alone i want to stop trying to prove myself or being right it is so much better to love than to feel self-righteous like you didn't do the right thing or you didn't say the right thing to let go of judgments towards yourself you're human. 
it's normal. You probably have let people down. They probably thought you said the wrong thing or did the wrong thing. Maybe they even made up stuff about you that you know wasn't true. Where do we want to give our focus? Let's give our focus to what works, what feels good, what connects us to what we truly want. We want to feel loved and accepted. We want to have that knowing that we count, our happiness counts. So from that beautiful space, you're going to take actions, inspired actions. It could be as simple as somebody gives you a compliment and you receive it. It's like, ah, oh, that feels good. What would it feel like if I received this compliment? You can bask in just beautiful moments like a vista, enjoying something that you're eating. When we come from that place of centeredness, peace, love, well-being, we truly start to give to ourselves. And what better gift is there than enjoying life, enjoying and appreciating what is here now. The past is done. It's history, it's old news. Even if you have things in your life that you don't like, you're not destined to continue to live them, but you're not destined to repeat the past, that the past is done. It's history, it's old news, and it's all lined up in this beautiful, beautiful way where you never ever have to relive any of those emotions or feelings or life experiences you didn't like. That doesn't mean that we're not gonna carry forth the preferences and the desires and the wisdom so that you learn from feeling anxious and fearful wow, that doesn't work, or it leads to procrastination, or it stops me from following through with my desires, my goals, my dreams, or lining up with how I want to live life. And if you've gone to that place of negative thoughts, you're supposed to. Super normal, super natural. It's not if you go there, but do you use it to guide you? to guide you, to redirect you to the soothing, the comfort, the relief, the knowledge, the wisdom, the clarity, the insights, to connect up with infinite intelligence, with the benevolent and loving universe, where you remember that you came to receive from source. You came to open up and allow in the support and the love that you're never ever supposed to do it alone. My belief, you have angelic beings. You have the, this beautiful, magical ether of well-being and abundance of joy and support. And feel it soaking into your cells, healthy energy, still energy peaceful energy, youthful energy, filled with vitality and aliveness, and keep taking those beautiful deep sighs. This is a breath of appreciation. This is a breath where we can let go, we can relax. This is a beautiful breath to use when you start to feel yourself go off track, where you start to feel yourself focus on a fear, anxiety, and worry. And you take in that breath and it's like you look in a different direction. You focus in a different way. This is a beautiful breath to take you up to higher energies when you're feeling good already so that you can use this breath in a joyful situation where maybe you're watching your grandkids play, that you're taking in a beautiful vista, that you're just feeling such appreciation for all the beautiful blessings that you have in your life. This is a way to kind of spread the joy and the well-being to float off to higher energies, higher places. And what does that feel like? Let's feel it right now. Keep doing those beautiful side breaths. Feel on the exhale, your body goes super relaxed, super heavy super comfortable, super relaxed. 
dropping, relaxing, releasing, dropping deeper and deeper. The deeper you go, the better you feel. The better you feel, the deeper you go. And it's like you open the door naturally. You open the door to the support, the help, the guidance where timing feels perfect, where the right people come into your life, where you start to notice you attract so much love, nurturing support, upliftment, guidance, and help, but that we become selective. So you may have a job that brings you so many beautiful things. Maybe it brings you money, interaction, a way to focus yourself, but it doesn't meet all your needs. So what? Welcome to the human race. Don't expect one thing to meet all your needs. It really is okay to appreciate the different aspects that do feel good. And then here's the deal. You're going to have more of what you desire and want in your life because like energy attracts like energy so that you want to feel supported and loved by maybe a parent that died that transition that passed that is such a good example of it's up to you to go to loving thoughts and there's all kinds of different ways we can get there keep taking those beautiful sighs giving yourself permission, maybe a relationship that feels estranged right now, whether it's with a friend or a sibling, a mom, a dad, a grandparent, a guardian, somebody in your life. Give yourself permission if you're going to think of them to go to soft thoughts, loving thoughts. And it could be, well, they gave me a lot of clarity of what I wanted in a relationship. Or I can see they were coming from a place where they were doing their best, that they thought maybe being hard on me was loving, that they wanted me to thrive, that they channeled what they learned. Feel this willingness. If, if you want to feel love, then we need to go to the love. If we want to feel supported, don't look to someone else. Don't look to others to feel what you want to feel. Don't look to the situations or the circumstances and just keep allowing the sound in my voice to relax the body, still the mind. You don't even have to get this all or understand it, but you can feel it's right to let in the love. It's right to flood my heart with this soft, light, expansive energy. So it's like you become the beacon of light. You're your heart, your beautiful heart, expanding, radiating, feel a loosening, a releasing in your jaw and your neck, your shoulders dropping, this beautiful energy flooding you, flooding your back, cushioning your back, bringing a cushioning, a support to your joints, where your joints feel cushioned, flexible joints, healthy joints, cushion joints. If you feel a weakness in your body, feel this amazing, beautiful energy. I like to imagine a river of light coming from above, like the sun shining on a deliciously beautiful day where it just feels so right, where that sun soaks into the skin feel this energy maybe a vacation feeling or when you've woken up and your body feels completely comfortable that you've probably had those moments those beautiful times where life feels so right so beautiful so good you didn't come to fix others or play god you didn't come to fix others or play god but when you're connected up with that joyful happy light energy then you're in the flow, then you can be that beacon of light, that you can lead the way. That the best thing that you can do for yourself, for others, for your health, for your well being, for your prosperity, for your life <laughs> is to feel good. Keep taking those beautiful sighs, 
deep and then just let it go let it go let it go let it go like a hot air balloon that lets go of its weights feel yourself rise higher love energy light energy expansive energy you might feel yourself kind of float up to this beautiful otherworldly space where you connect up directly with angelic souls where you cope you directly connect up with that high energy with that infinite energy with that feeling of what infinite possibilities where the cells in your body are changing feel things happening healthy eyes soft eyes light eyes joyful brain happy brain we're like an antivirus program that deletes programming viruses things that slow it down hold it back or don't bless it we're going to delete those programs in the brain. Feel it happen. Imagine it happening. It feels good to feel good. It feels good to let go. It feels good to tap into this energy that's always been there for you, that it's your right to tap into it, that you have tools like the Psy Breath that can connect you to that feeling of well-being. Do it in conversations. Use the Psy Breath when you're going to the bathroom. Use it when you're eating, before you eat. Use it before you make a choice, before you buy something, before you eat something. Centerness, peace is always a welcome place to go to. Tap in to God, tap into source, tap into that benevolent and generous and allowing universe that's on your side, that's on your team that's working on your behalf that's clearing away obstacles that's lining you up for more success for solutions and answers for for you intimately so it's going to meet you where you're at it's going to meet you even with your limiting beliefs it's normal it's normal that we're going to continue to evolve to move forward to grow problems challenges concerns their opportunities to connect up with this energy and let's just take a couple of more beautiful side breaths ah let it go let it go let it go take another beautiful side breath and let it go. as you're ready coming back into this time and place if you want more support and help that i have others in this beautiful call to joy podcast as well as different things that you can listen to where i guide you into the calm breath a beautiful breath to get relief fast if you're in a stressful anxious situation it has proven not just by me but by science to take you to that um centered place to redirect you from that kind of reptilian brain fight flight expecting the worst energy so check out more playlists on my youtube channel svenson hypnosis and come back do this again every sunday the call to joy 22 minutes of love and support if you'd like to stay after for a little more loving and support i'll offer you the option to turn on your audio and video and i'm there for you blessings and love